Welcome to the Raw Coding YouTube channel. My name is Anton and today I wanted to share a library with you that I have written over the weekend. It's nothing particularly special. The only thing special about it is that you don't write code the way that you usually write it. And that's the main inspiration for the video because generally, what do you do? You set up a service, you set up another service, you dependency inject that service, perhaps you have an interface, and that's just the way that you write your applications. What I'm gonna try to show you in this library that I have written is how you can perhaps try to cut the arrangement of the services to the side and get a what you may call a DSL to represent those actions in a more concise way. Don't forget, if you're enjoying the video, leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section. I have a C-sharp course that is out. If you would like to know C-sharp as I do, highly recommend you take a look at it. With that, let's go ahead and get started. And by the way, let me know what you think about this theme, right? Is it eye gouging or not? Some of you may be laughing, some of you may not be laughing. Anyway, let's take a look at program CS. We have an empty application. Uh, the application is running and the package that I'm using is hypertext expression. This is the package that I've created and it's it can be used with ASP.NET Core or without ASP.NET Core. So uh, what is the package about? It is about generating HTML. So we have Razor pages. And maybe most of you have been in the situation where you wanted to use the Razor engine templating to send an email and then the solution for that looks ugly as heck and then you have other services which depend on the HTTP context and the currently signed in user and it's a mess, okay? It wasn't nice, it wasn't pretty. So in part, this is where you could potentially use this. There are other better templating solutions. And anyway, the point about this is to generate HTML, okay? Uh, the main sort of class that we have is HTML expression where everything starts with the HTML document. Uh, my recommendation for this is to import static members if you have worked with source generators for fa factory methods of C -sharp syntax these are going to look approximately the same although they have some additional quirks. So with generating an HTML document, if we come back over here, at the moment, it's just going to return you a tree structure. So to actually convert this to something that can be converted to HTML, so we use to I result, right? Save that, and that should give us an empty document. Now, if I inspect this, right, we don't have, a, we, we have a head and body, but it's empty. Uh, let's say I do want to specify something in the head. So I say head and I do want to specify something in the body and I say body. For the title, uh, I don't have things like title. And for example, if you're using web components, you're not going to have all of your custom web components. But the good thing is, is that most of these things are just static methods which uh, create this HTML element so you can actually extend it if you want. But otherwise, you can actually use tuples to say something like title, home page, a page. And then for the body, uh, let's say, yeah, we also want to do something similar, but instead here we will use h1 and we're going to say hello world. All right save that come back refresh and there we have it so this will generate the html for you again nothing too special just the way that you are capable of expressing what kind of html structure you want in a different way moving forward uh, let's uh, give this a div body so let's say it can contain a couple of children for example like a paragraph which is going to say one and perhaps another paragraph which is going to say Two. Coming back, we will have one, two. And maybe on some of them, I want to specify attributes, something like maybe perhaps show if I want a single attribute. So if we take a look at the body, obviously, I don't actually have this attribute, but there it is. Let's say maybe on the two, I want an actual key value pair or something like that. So let's say class and red or something like that come back over here and there we can see it. And then if I want multiples of them, uh, I kind of want a dictionary here really, but let's say that as long as I'm using an array, which can be modded by two, I can actually just say, try to supply an even amount of arguments and I can actually treat that as a key value pair collection, right? So I'm just using a list 
as a key value pair collection. So color is actual red here for the three. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. And there we have it. And let's take a look at another feature or some a way that you can write something. Let's say we will have a UL element. We can give it some kind of attributes. Uh, let's again say class and red, and then we can give it some children. For example, a range of zero to 10, so 10 counts. We will then want to select some. Uh, let's spread this out a little bit. I will select for every single number that I get here. Let's go ahead and return a paragraph or actually NLI is the thing that works here with some kind of task dollar sign and actually template this number in here. So if we have a list of some kind of elements, we can actually use link over here and generate this. So coming back to the browser, there we have it. Again, you can see how what I tried to aim for here is a tightly knit package of trying to express what you actually want in your HTML, rather than saying for each something, go ahead, add this element, etc. You just declare what HTML you want, and you're still doing it from your C sharp code. For this, then, you can do interesting things. Some of them don't need an implementation and some of them can have an implementation. Let's say you will have your base HTML and you will use something like lazy to generate this HTML element and everything in here is an HTML element and you're just going to have this factory which will spit this out. You can then have this base HTML and because HTML is just a tree structure, you can create some types of visitors which are going to traverse this tree and will insert elements before you actually convert the result. So most of the stuff you can cache this interceptors don't exist yet, but that's how I would foresee inserting things like different titles. If you already have a layout created, perhaps different scripts, etc. username, not too important on the features that I can actually build into this particular library. The important thing is things like modifying the layout, which things like razor pages don't give you just being able to say, I'm not going to use the thing that is given to me, aka razor pages, and I'm going to go with my own solution, which gives me these other benefits can already be a worthwhile reason to explore these, let's call unorthodox way of building things. And that's about all I wanted to show you. Nothing too flashy. I wanted to make this library because I wanted to make a video on HTMX actually, and working with HTML was a little bit of a pain. So I'm going to give HTMX another go with using this library and um, see how it's going to go. If it goes well, you're going to see a video. If it doesn't go well, well, there won't be any video. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to check out the description and a big and special thank you to all of my patron supporters. You help me make these videos. If you would like the source code for this video, as well as my other videos, please come support me on Patreon. As always, thank you for watching. Have a good day.